It's Mexican vegetarian night. So, right now I'm slaving away in the kitchen because Brittany obviously has to film. And I'm starting on the guacamole. We will be making a mango jalapeno guac. Just put a little spin on it. <laughs> This guac was inspired by, basically it's mango season. And they're my, probably my favorite fruit. God, it's such a tight race between that. <sighs> yeah, they're my favorite fruit. Yeah, you know how hard it is to cut this mango with this dull knife? Yeah, I'm watching you. <sighs> I will win. I really like cooking because you get to eat the stuff while cooking. <laughs> it's like you get to taste everything as an appetizer before it makes it in your meal. It's amazing. My Twitter handle basically says that I want to be a celebrity chef. Now I wrote that a few years ago. I think that my dreams and aspirations have changed a little bit. <laughs> now I just want to be a chef that people want to go to their dinner parties occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Got the cilantro. I like a lot of cilantro. Ooh, was that a finger? Nope. I'm just gonna slice up a few tomatoes because you can't have guac without tomatoes, of course. I usually like these little cherry ones. Can we just take a, a second to imagine me throwing in the ball without any fingers? <laughs> I just, just picture that real quick. Don't worry, Jill, I'm being extra careful. Jalapeno. So I don't like it too spicy. It gets a little weird. It's too spicy. So, absolutely no seeds. I'm not trying to die tonight. Next up, low garlic. Because who doesn't love having garlic breath all night? I know I do. So does everybody that I'm making out with. Well, this is the best part. This is my favorite part of making guacamole. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah. I always put it in there too because it helps keep the, uh, the guac fresh and make sure it doesn't brown. Now you just kind of make little slits in there, like a waffle fry. By the way, my mom is probably like the best cook in the whole world. I know everyone says that about their mom, but when I say it, it's true. So she like teaches me all these tricks and stuff. That's where I usually get off. I like literally call her every time I'm at the grocery store. I can't tell if she loves it or hates it, but I'm gonna go with she loves it. Finishing touch. Boom. Oh no, not true. The second to last finishing touch. Wow. And then it's just salt and pepper to taste, however much you like. I'm an athlete, so I use a lot of salt because I sweat it all out. At least that's what I tell myself. You can also make it smooth, really smooth, so you mix it up a lot more. But I like mine a bit chunky. So I don't mix it up that much. Mmm, guac. Yep. Now we're good. 